Today I effed up by throwing my steak out a window. Oh no. <laughs> Last night, my wife's boss from her brand new job invited us over for dinner. On the drive over, my wife reiterated many times to me how important it was to make a good impression. I scoffed and arrogantly informed my silly wife that I always make good impressions. <laughs> My wife's boss is a single lady in her 50s, so it was just the three of us. We chit-chatted over drinks and salads and seemed to be really hitting it off. Soon she brought out the main course, a nice, big, juicy steak for each of us. Now, I've had my fair share of rare steaks. I prefer medium, but I can handle rare. This was several minutes on a hot grill short of rare. I probably could have resuscitated the cow had I tried. Instead, I sat there fidgeting with my knife and fork, worrying about how I was gonna get away with not eating this steak. <laughs> Just then, our hostess excused herself to the kitchen to take care of some dessert preparations. As I looked across the fancy dining room table at the open window of this third story apartment, <laughs> a cartoon light bulb appeared over my head. <laughs> I knew I had to be decisive. I grabbed the steak with my hand, gently shook off the juice, and executed a perfect throw right through the center of the open window. <laughs> the window wasn't open. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was the cleanest freaking window you've ever seen in your life. That is, until my mostly raw slab of steak <laughs> slammed up against it and slowly slid down, leaving a trail of bloody juice in its wake. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, whose steak was a nice medium rare and was unaware of my predicament, turned, jaw dropped, and stared at me like I was an alien from another planet. <laughs> this look slowly morphed into more of a there is no place on this planet you can ever hide from me expression of demonic anger. <laughs> my wife's boss heard the thud of a steak on oh, window no. impact and came quickly. <laughs> She took in the scene, the steak sitting on the windowsill, the bloody trail, my empty plate, and then gave me an inquisitive, <laughs> puzzled look. <laughs> Imagine being the boss. <laughs> I just didn't know what to say. It felt like a minute of silence, but probably was only three or four seconds. Finally, the best I could manage was, <laughs> I... I'm so sorry. I'm such a clutch. I don't know. I was just cutting it and it slipped. Just ask my wife. I really am a clutch, right, honey? I will clean this up. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Both women continued to stare at me like I'd escaped from the loony bin. As I smeared the blood around on the windowsill with my cloth napkin, dusted off the steak, and continued to mutter my incoherent explanation, I knew no one was buying the story. I knew what I had to do. No. I sheepishly returned to my seat and proceeded to eat every bite of that disgusting, cold, chewy, bloody raw steak. <laughs> now probably covered in dirt and crap. Well, not from the window. I remained pretty quiet the rest of the evening. My wife's only two words for me the rest of the evening were, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, take a minute, go to brosnotpros.com, check it out, you can get a hat, support the Bros in Hats uh, lifestyle. 